This piece of meat did cost $8.39 and it's marked down to $5.03 for a steak. It's a big one. I cut it in half and I marinated it and all that stuff. And now I'm cooking it. Washu campus. That's Olin Library right there. I think there's a little cafe in there as well. If you come across there, back there is like the site buildings. That's where I'll be coming tomorrow. That is a chapel. Science buildings off that way. And back where you can see the stadium lights in the back, there's a soccer field back there. Parked over there in the Millbrook parking garage. This is the <clears throat> where I pay for the parking. Zero to two hours is two dollars. I don't know how to do this. Uh, insert ticket. I guess I put that here. Now I get some kind of a receipt. I think it's coming out here, I don't know. And this I put in the little gate to leave the parking lot. Oops. The stairs I just came down. This street right here is Forest Park Parkway. And just on that edge of the... Where is it? Can you see the train tracks? The Metrolink goes through here. I'll be going that way. Now comes a crappy going home <laughs> at rush hour. On uh, the Interbelt, which is really crappy drivers in St. Louis, so it may take a while to be safe. Is 270 going north? All those traffic up there. And I am on, uh, what am I on? Graham Road, Hamley Road. It changes names three times from the north end to the south end. Well, today I went to Washington University. They had a lecture. And the reason I was notified of this lecture, I think, is because I attend Italian events and they have Italian films free with. English subtitles uh, during the month of April and I always attend and I attend 
Italian speaking meetup. And you can look up meetup.com for whatever you're interested in. If you're interested in speaking German, speaking French, walking dogs, uh, bar hopping, uh, nature hiking, whatever your interest is, you go to meetup.com and you type in what your interest is and where you're located and it'll let you know if there's any groups that you can hang out with people that have similar interests. It's really a cool thing. And there are only dues involved because that way they can keep it on the website so that you get notification of meetings or parties or events or whatever. And it's only like six dollars a year, which is a pittance in, in these days and times. Even I can afford that. So I went to this lecture. The lecture is called Parenting the Princes, Child Rearing in the Italian Renaissance with a speaker. A lady is a uh, professor at a college in California. Francesco Gonzaga and Isabella D'Esta that lived in the late 1400s, early 1500s. They were, what was he, the Marquis of Mantua. Mantua is a city in in the north part of Italy, kind of in Tuscany, sort of. And uh, they were wealthy. He, what was he involved with? Battle of this or that. And armies, and he's a knight, and you know how the, all that stuff goes. Anyway, the wife pretty much wore the pants in the family. Maybe she had to, I don't know. She was used to it. She was descended from aristocrats. And we would write him all kinds of letters. How many letters? Let's see. They found 28,000 letters were written and often dictated by Isabella because she didn't bother writing all of them. And they were written to him, you know, like like we text or we write a letter, we call on the phone or we write or we have a YouTube video or whatever. Well, they didn't have that in those days, so they would write letters back and forth and all that or she would let him know how the kids are doing but their firstborn son was Federico the Duke of Mantua he ended up being the Duke of Mantua and uh, she would write these letters stating that the son would be holding on to a picture of his father and kissing it every night and saying that he loved it and all that and I'm thinking wait a minute it's like someone writing their, their annual Christmas letter from the dog's viewpoint. But it was interesting anyway. It was an interesting talk. And then afterward they had uh, bruschetta, which are like little pieces of toast with stuff on them. One had kalamata olives, and I don't know what the other crap on there was. The next, there was a fruit plate. Then they had one with... Uh, Little slices of prime rib and horseradish. I had one of those. Little tiny chicken salad sandwich ones. I had one of those. And I had a piece of cantaloupe and some citrus drink. Then I drove home in icky traffic and came home and had to ease the cat. He was not, well, he's not been terribly happy with me, so he's sleeping right now. And then, early this morning, before I went to do all that, I had been thinking, because I've been watching a video of someone I've been watching for a long time, and I know this guy, and he knows me, and um, we've actually corresponded back and forth. He's a nice fe young fella. He married a Slovak girl. And uh, Simon Skoll's vlog, Stop Jabbing On and Be Healthy. And I watch him all the time. I'm subscribed to him and I watch him. And uh, he works out. He'll, he'll go on a treadmill or work out with weights or something. And he's trying to show people how just by little by little you can you can remain health to be healthy. And uh, he, he's been going on this hydro massage bed which looks like a big comfy soft foamy cushiony bed thing or a chair bed and it, it 
shoots water up. You don't get wet, but it's water inside the mattress that shoots up and massages you from inside. And it's been preying on my mind. That little bee in my bonnet's been bugging me. And I, I gotta find one of those places. I gotta try that out because lately I've been having terrible tightening pain in between my shoulder blades and my neck and all that. It just maybe that would help. So I found one in the area. It's not that terribly far away. It's in an area that I shop sometimes. And uh, so I called them up and I asked where do you park and asked a bunch of questions. Through the month of February they have specials. 50% have off on Wednesdays. Alright. And I booked myself a 15 minute slot next Wednesday for one of these hydro massage beds going to cost me ten dollars. It would cost less than that if I were considered a senior citizen. That starts at age 65. I'm not there yet. So it sounds interesting. So that'll be fun. Tomorrow, Friday, Friday, Friday. Oh, Friday is the psychological study thing and Saturday is auditions. Auditions for Blythe Spirit. Mine is at 10.30? I better... Well, I don't need to absolutely make sure until tomorrow night so I can have my internal clock all prepared. But yeah, that's what happened. Upward and onward. <laughs>